thanks for covering for me. You've done it for me more times than I can count. Besides, it's all for love, right? Mm, definitely love. So, you sure you're gonna be okay here tonight alone? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm gone, I'm gone. ago. Sure. Sure. Any word and I'll have her call. Okay. Bye. Kevin Reese. Yes, sir. There's been some trouble, son, and I need you to answer some questions. Cheryl, you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. For sure, the most beautiful girl in the state. You really think so? Well, sure I do. Everybody thinks so. I didn't used to be pretty. I was always more into sports. Some trophies are more important than boys. So what changed? When a dream comes true, I look for new dreams. It's just the kind of girl I am. Are you always this forward on a first date? Just the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me what you want to do with your life, you know? Where you want to live, how many kids you want. It's okay, that's enough. Come Jimmy. on, Cheryl, just relax. Jimmy! Jimmy, stop ah! it! Oh, come on, Cheryl, I was only having fun. Anyway, you can't go in without me. I got the keys. A what? Thank you very much. Damn it, Cheryl, are you crazy? What'd you do that for? Damn it, Cheryl, you go fish those keys out. Make me. Hey. Let go! Hey! What do you think you're doing? Get huh? over here. If I ever see you touch her again, you'll answer to me. You got it? Yeah, that's cool. Huh? Just, just calm down. I don't like it. I'd have to apologize to the lady. Hey. Okay? I'm sorry. Okay? Get out of here. Um, uh, I know I'm staring. I'm sorry. Just, you know, you look real familiar. You probably see my picture in the paper. I'm the Dairy Princess. The beauty contest? Oh, you're the Dairy Princess? Wow, all right. 
Hmm. Cheryl. Oh, uh, Kevin. You know, didn't you, uh, didn't you win that gymnastics medal a few years back? You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you used to be quite a tomboy then, but, boy, look at you now. Guess I grew up. Well, I guess you did. <laughs> what are you doing with the bucket milker? Got a sick cow? Yeah, she's on penicillin. How'd you know that? I have a small herd of my own on some land my dad has. Is that right? Really? Someone as pretty as you, huh? You can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> you work on a dairy farm? No, no. It's uh, even worse than that. I own one. Well, the bank owns it. Yeah. That second job I got at the garage, I'm buying it back a paycheck at a time. You buy it back? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it belonged to my family till things took a turn. Three generations, you know. A lot of history there. Can imagine. Land's expensive. But that's what I want too someday. My own farm, my own dairy. Surprise you? <laughs> well, yeah, but well, something tells me you're full of surprises. kind of spaced out on me there. Oh, I'm fine. You know, um, I'd, li I'd like to make this up to you. Maybe dinner and a movie sometime, my treat? Well, thanks, but I don't think my girlfriend would approve. Oh, well, <laughs> that's the way things work out sometimes. Thanks anyway. Okay, see ya. Who would that be? That daddy is the man I'm gonna marry. Oh, I'm sorry. Nice shot. Oh, well, I only get them when they don't count. That's why I always end up buying beer here on Friday nights. Kevin should have been here a half hour ago. Well, he owes a bank twelve hundred a month. That's a lot of milkies. We just clicked. <laughs> it was so romantic. I mean, you could just feel the electricity between us. It's too bad he's taken. He's not married. Or was I right? <laughs> I get food. Don't tell me this is Brad Pitt again. Mm, come on, you guys. Break it up. We'll get a room. Mm. <laughs> you miss me? Not for a minute. No, oh, I don't believe that. Thoughts on his truth? Ask Larry. Hey, no, no, no. Don't get me in the middle of this. I just came to play pool. <laughs> Let's settle that. Let's settle it on the pool table, huh? What do you say? A game of pool? Winner's right. Ah, you sure you're up for it? I think I'm up for it, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, it's you again. Hey. Is this a private game or can anyone play? No, no, it's a free bar last time I checked. Hey. Cheryl, uh, this is Beth and this is Larry. We've met before. Oh, we have? I'm sorry, I, I don't remember. It's all right. It's a while back. Beth, why don't you uh, go ahead and break? Okay. Right? So can I get you a beer or something? Oh, no, thanks. Not right now, maybe later. Okay, good, good. That's the idea. You hit one. That's nice. So, how do you know Kevin? Come on. Oh, I work for him part time. Hey, he's a good guy. Oh! Oh! No. <laughs> Winner gets a victory kiss. Oh, I didn't know that was the bet. No, it's only part of the bet. Oh, come on, pay up. All right, just get it away. <laughs> well! Looks like I'm next. <laughs>
I got a feeling she's hustling me. Trust me. Shaking your pom poms, I see. That's who got him. Shake him. So, how long have you and Kevin been an item? About two years. Still not engaged. I'm sure, it's nothing personal. I was away most of last year at a technical school, a travel industry thing. Kevin's not much for travel, is he? More the settling down type. And how would you know? I have great instincts. I'm a people person. Hmm. My instincts tell me that Larry's more your type. Isn't that always the way? He's the one who's interested in me, and yet he's not the one I'm interested in. That is a great eyeliner. The same color my grandma wears. <laughs> you, uh, you got something on your mind? Where'd you meet Cheryl? Cheryl? Well, I don't know. I mean, I gave her a ride, helped her out of a bad situation. Well, that's about it. You don't trust me, do you? No, of course I trust you. Uh, so what's the problem? It's just... You want a life here in town. And you want it right now. That's right. You know exactly what you want. You want a farm and a family to help run it. And 2.5 kids. <laughs> That's the American dream. That is my dream anyway, you know? It's not so much to ask, is it? No. Then why don't you come here and dance with me, baby? <laughs> hey, how you doing there, buddy? Huh? Oh, yeah, look at that. Your brown eyes are all clear again, huh? You and your animals. Matt, you volunteer. What kind of pair you make? Yeah, well, you and Cheryl were looking pretty good together last night yourselves. Yeah, I think so? Yeah. Oh, me too. Question is, what does she think? Uh, I tell you what. I think that she was nuts about you, and the whole bar was talking. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Nice wheels. It's hard to miss, isn't it? It's part of the awards package. I get it for a year. Anyway, I just wanted to give you this. I knitted it myself. I thought it would be good for when you're working early mornings out here. Um, you wouldn't let me buy you a movie, so... Yeah, you thanked me for that already. Thanking you again. I'm very grateful. Cheryl, um, I'm already in a lot of trouble over that pool game. It's just a friendly game. As far as this goes... No strings attached. In fact, I was hoping maybe the four of us could double for lunch today. My treat. I've got a public appearance at the new burger place in town. As your fairy princess, I'm happy to be here today. This new burger palace will proudly feature milk, butter, and cheese products produced locally by our very own Mayfield County Farmers. On behalf of the Dairy Council, it is my pleasure to declare this establishment... Yeah! Yeah, any farm, you know. <laughs> ...to declare this establishment officially open!
treat me like this everywhere I go. <laughs> Think would go to my head, but it doesn't. <laughs> Beth. I want you to know you have nothing to worry about. Worry about? When it comes to Kevin. He really likes you. He told me so this morning. This morning? He said... <laughs> He said you were concerned about last night, that, that I might be competition for you or something. A lot of girls feel that way around me. I just... I want you to know I'm not after him. Um, let's see. Can we have the strawberry? Oh, that's me. Oh. How about another picture? Chris. Oh. So shoot me. I don't like the dairy princess. All that cream's gone to her head. Well, Cheryl's okay. So what was she doing there this morning? And why were you telling her such personal things about me? Well, how do you know that she showed up? She told me I have nothing to worry about. Is that right? Do I have nothing to worry about, Kevin? You know, she's right. You're jealous. I'm not. Yes, you are. I just don't want to be taken for granted. I, I, I mean... You have our whole future plan. You have us married and planted and raising a family. You don't want that? Well, yeah. I mean, someday, but not right now. I have plans of my own. Like what? Don't you ever listen to me? I, I want to travel and, and, I don't know, maybe someday go to college. Well, Beth, I mean, what about the farm, huh? I mean, what am I supposed to do? Just wait until you make up your mind? It was my family's. Come on, where are your values? My values? Yeah. All you want is a mirror image of yourself. Some woman who will give up her dreams just to fit this neat little picture you have of the future. You want you in a dress. Hey, is this about Cheryl, huh? Because I don't know where this is coming from. No, this is about us. About us, huh? What us? I don't know who I'm talking to here, Beth. I mean, I used to be enough for you. Well, maybe I need more. Well, maybe you should find it, you know, somewhere else. Because I've had it with this attitude. Kevin, we can't go on like this. All right? Let's not. I say it was fun while it lasted. You want more? Well, so do I. Here, car's ready. really dangerous. Anyone dog could just waltz right in. Cheryl, you know, I'm really not up to any kind of company tonight. It's... Oh, I won't stay. Well, I mean, this is all really very nice no, of you. No, no, no need to explain. You just sit right down and enjoy it. There's seconds right here, and I put a couple casseroles in the fridge for later in the week. I put little instruction sheets with them under the plastic. If you have any questions, just call. Margaret. 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 Well, you know, 
Kevin, hi. Oh, hey. Is the seat taken? Uh, no, no, it's yours if you want it. Didn't know you came here. No, I usually go to the Lutheran Church across town, but I felt like a change. Uh -huh. I didn't know you went here. Small world. Uh, small town. <laughs> Pink. Mm. Well, at least we know it's not a government nose. It's from Cheryl. Mm. Now that you're single, the girl's hot for you, pal. Why she look at me that way? Yeah. What do I do? Well, if I have to tell you, Kev. Yeah. She's gorgeous. She cooks like Betty Crocker. She wants everything you want. And she's the dairy princess, for God's sake. What more could you ask for? Death. I don't know. I can't help it. You know, I love her. I'm in love with her. And it's never going to change. Hey. Hi. Hi. I uh, I got your card. It's cute, cow and everything. Yeah. I don't write you yet. So, what can I do for you? My my engine is missing. I mean, it's it's still under the hood. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's missing. Can you take a look at it for me? Oh yeah. Um. Well, just pop the hood. I um. I notice it mostly when I try to accelerate. Yeah. Um. Can you leave this? You're the doctor. Maybe you can bring it by my house later? Oh, uh, well... Yeah, Larry's got my truck today, so, um... I'll bring it by if you can give me a ride home. Oh. Sounds like that works out for both of us. Guess it's fate, huh? <laughs> See you later. You look so nice. Very professional. Well, the manager's position might be opening up in Cleveland. I want to make a good impression just in case. Oh, Cleveland? What about Kevin? We want different lives, Mom. And I don't know how to make it work. But the two of you... What does he say? All the wrong things. Kevin Reese. Hello, sir. Some problem with the car? Yes, sir. The uh, carburetor's out of adjustment. Really don't know how it got to be that way. So, uh, how long have you and Cheryl been dating? Dating? Oh, uh, no, sir. No, We're no, just... Daddy. Kevin's a friend. Ah, uh, well, it's hard for me to keep up with my daughter sometimes. <laughs> Kevin, um, I want to show you my room before we go. Uh, good to meet you, sir. I promise I'll keep the door open, Daddy. <laughs> my mother died when I was 12. Oh. He never saw two people more in love than my parents. So now he smothers me with love. So overprotective, it's embarrassing sometimes, you know. Nobody's good enough for his little girl. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> really like cows, don't you? What I tell you, they're my life. We can go by my herd on the way if you want. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Oh, great. Just give me a minute to change.
And I was uh, barely six years old when I helped pull a newborn calf from inside its mama. Uh. Yeah, felt like God, you know. God at six years old. <laughs> <laughs> Dairy farming, that's all I've ever known. That's what makes me happy. Yeah, I know. Most people don't understand how we feel about it. How deep that feeling goes. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I want to buy my land back from the bank. I want to settle down on it. I want to make it a success. Well, get what you work for. If you're hard enough for anything, you get it. It's the principle this country was built on. Everybody laughed at her. You know, I don't even remember her that well. Well, that tells you everything you need to know right there. And if you play your cards right, two weeks down the line, Kevin won't remember her either. Where are you going? Early dinner break. Well, I guess it's my turn to thank you for the ride, huh? Do you mind if I use your bathroom before I head back? Sure, right around the corner. Finding everything okay in there? It's fine. Yeah, Larry. It's Kevin. Listen, um, I'm gonna need an extra hand next week, and I was wondering if I could get first dibs on your time. Oh, uh, listen, Larry, let me... Call you back in a bit. Okay, bye. You like? Bought it today just for you. What do you think? Uh, Cheryl, if I've, you know, given you the wrong idea about us. What's wrong? Don't you want me? No, I mean, any man who had breath in his body would want you. And prove it. Kiss me. Beth. Beth? Let her go. Beth! Beth, honey, listen, I can explain, all there's right? Nothing, can... There's nothing to explain. I saw what I saw. I just came to say you were right. It is over, Kevin. Baby, give me a chance, huh? Get out of my house. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. Now get out and stay out. Get away from me. Get a beer. A friend of yours over there might need a friendly word. Yeah? Who's that? Your like pool partner. She's playing out of her league. Come on. Oh, man. All right, save the beer. All right. Here you sit. Come on. Oh, look. The beer's all gone. Yeah, bartender thinks maybe you've had enough. Yes, I have had enough. Enough rejection for one lifetime. Thank you very much. Is this guy bothering you? No, no, he's okay. He, he just doesn't have a clue about women. Real women. Do you think I'm real woman? Woman and a half, you ask me. Come on, I'm taking you home. Maybe she don't want to go. Well, maybe you should let me decide that. What difference does it make to you? Now you spoil my good time. It's crowded. I see you. Oh, no, come on, give me the keys. Give me the keys, Cheryl. Sounds to me like the lady wants to be alone. Oh. This one, dog. Huh? Cheryl, come 
wine, you didn't drink, and you want to kill yourself. Maybe that's exactly what I want to do. I can't let you drive. Now what? I swear I will. Cheryl, <laughs> this is crazy. I love you, Kevin. Okay. Is that so crazy? Just come on down with me and we'll talk about it, okay? You like me, Kevin, don't you? We feel something for each other, don't we? Cheryl. I mean, look at this, Kevin. This is where we belong. It's what we both want, isn't it? Isn't it? Ah! Yeah, 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 it is, it is. It is. You know, it's kind of funny. You look out and you see the land. Beth can only see the stars. No, you're only together out of habit. She's not ready for the life you want, Kevin. She may never be. But I'm ready right now. I can be anything you want. Okay. Come here to me. You come here to me. Okay. Ah, ah. Okay. Yeah, come on. Hold on, I got you. Hold on, I got you. I got you. You okay? Huh? Would Beth risk everything for you? Did she love you so much she'd give her life for you? Has anybody ever loved you that much? Kevin, I love you. I can't help how I feel, can I? No, none of us can. I'll always be there for you. Love me back, Kevin. tomorrow night? If you want to. Whatever you want, you know that. Anything you say is fine with me. Well, isn't there something you want to do? Nope. You decide and I'll love it. Sorry I'm late. I don't know where the time goes when I'm with Kevin. You supposed to be home sooner? Don't you remember when I left? I said it'd only be about an hour. Care where I go or, or what I do? Well, you said you were with Kevin. Daddy, you say his name like he's just another boy. Half the girls in this town would faint if he even looked their way, and I'm the one he picked. I thought you'd be proud. You know I don't keep up with all this. If your mother was here, well, she's she... not. I am. I know you're do here. You? Daddy, I'm your daughter, and you never even look at me. I could be 12 years old for all you care. You just, you just sit with your, your pictures and your memories of Mama. I can't help it if I still miss her. Would you miss me that much if I were dead? Don't even joke about a thing like that. Well, Daddy, I bring home good grades and, and, and trophies and, and, and blue ribbons, and it's never enough. Kevin, when he looks at me, he really sees me. I'm not that little girl anymore, Daddy. With him, I'm a woman. Are you sleeping with this man? I would if he asked me. I won't have that talk in this house. Not while you're under my roof. It's fine with me. 
Where'd you find this? Well, I know it isn't much, but the rent is right. And look, you see your place from here. No. So does your dad know that you're putting your cattle on my land? It's none of his business. Well, just thought, you know, I should talk to him, make sure it's okay. It's none of his business. Look, let's not talk about him, okay? I feel good today. I don't want to spoil it. This is uh, some big adventure, huh? Yep. Mm. This place can be anything I want it to be. And I can be anything you want me to be. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you just, you can't just become what you think someone else wants. You, you know, kind of got to be yourself. I know you do. And who I am just happens to be exactly what you want. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Mm. No. Milkings a day. Oh, hey, keep this pace up. You'll be able to give up work at the garage before you know it. It's harder now. I have Cheryl's crew as well. Yeah, how's that going? That's nah, going all right. Hup, hup, hup. You uh, love her? Well, you know, she cooks for me. She dresses for me. Come on. Plans her life around me. And all I have to do is just mention I'm interested in something, and that's all she talks about. Yeah. Yep. Beth never did that. Well, Beth has a life of her own. Her job, volunteer work at the hospital. She started uh, tutoring at Jackson Elementary. Did you know that? That's who she is. Just like that. She wasn't going anywhere, Larry. Do I miss her? Make any difference? Come on. Come on! And I've got two deaf first graders who love to paint, so I bought them watercolor sets. They need me, and it feels good to help them. You can't do that, flying around the world. There's lots of people that need you right here at home. I work for one of them. Look, he may be with Cheryl now, but if you want to know the truth, you're all he thinks about. Can you push me on the swing, Miss McKenna's? Sure, I'll be there in a second, okay, sweetie? You miss him? What does it matter now? She's got him and I don't. I thought you two were the perfect couple. At least that's the word that Cheryl's spreading around town. Well, she gives me everything that I want and nothing that I need. You and me were different. And I thought that was the problem. I did, too. But, you know, I realize that we have different goals, but we're alike where it counts, and we can grow from that. I want you back, Beth. I never stop loving you. You know, can't we compromise? Oh. See, you want a career in travel, There's right? There's no agency but here. But couldn't you open one on your own? Kevin, you know I can't afford that. No, but... See, maybe we can. And we can work on our goals together. You know, maybe we could travel ourselves from time to time if you want. You know, I've never seen much of the world. Maybe it's time that I did. You would do that for me? 
There's nothing that I wouldn't do for you. So, can we try? Can you give me another chance? back to what it was in no time at all. No, no, I think it looks, uh, looks fine. I mean, you always look great. <laughs> um, can we get together someplace later and talk? Now's a good time to set set. No, no, this isn't the right place. Tell me. Ken? You're scaring me, tell me. Um, well, listen, um, Cheryl. You know something, you're a wonderful person. And I mean that, but I made a mistake, and I want to fix it before we go too far. What kind of mistake? Oh, God. Is this about Beth? I still love her. No. No. No, no you don't. You, you think you do, but you, you feel sorry for her. You don't love her. Yes, I do. Now, you know something, Cheryl, you're, you're really great, and I mean that. Stop it! Stop it, Kevin. You're not thinking clearly. I'm right for you, and she's not. I'm everything you need. And if you need more, I can be that, too. You know something? All I really need is for you to understand. Can't you see what a mistake you're making? All she wants is to get you back so she can break up with you again. She can't stand to see us together. No, no, now. that is not... What it is all about. Okay? Beth and I, we've got a history together, and I'm not gonna just toss that aside. So you toss me aside instead? I'm sorry. Sorry. Meet me at the Colston Motel Room. 301 tonight at 10. Oh, oh God. <laughs> he does love me! <laughs> Kevin? Anybody home?
wait. Wait. Don't say a word. I want you to know that I understand why you said the things you did. You were afraid, because it's all so perfect. Well, I'm afraid, too. The truth is, you're the only person who's ever really loved me. And that's why I love you, too, Kevin. And I'll never leave you. <clears throat> what are you doing here? The note was from me. I knew we broke up with you today. I wanted to make it up to you. Make it up to me how? By tricking me to a motel room and raping no. me? No! I wanted to talk to you. I, I thought we'd get to know each other. You get away from me! <laughs> Beth put you up to this, didn't she? She doesn't know anything about it. Oh! And I'm supposed to believe that? You're all laughing at me. Cher, Everybody no one is laughing house. at you. I wanted to get to know you. I like you. By ruining my reputation? You're going to pay for this. I don't know how, and I don't know when, but you are going to pay. All of you. Sense. That never does, Kevin. It's the first friend that I ever lost. It could be a real pain sometimes. <laughs> I just wish that I could have told him how much our friendship had meant. I felt the same way. If neither of you are into talking about feelings. You just never know when you're seeing someone for the last time. Tells me you own a dairy farm? Uh, yeah, yeah. You? No. <laughs> I wouldn't know which end of the bowl of milk. Hmm? That's a joke. No, I, I'm, I'm in sales. Uh, the used car lot over on Maple. You need some equipment, though. I can get you a good deal. I, I was so sorry to hear about Larry. Yeah, yeah, it's been a tough couple of weeks. Hank, it's a little chilly. Would you get my coat for me? <laughs> well, he seems like a nice enough guy. Friend of the family. Mercy date. Look, um, I was hoping to run into you. I want you to know that, that I'm fine with everything. I, I understand your decision, and all I care about is that you're happy. Well, thanks. You too. And, and I promise I'll move my cattle off your land soon. I just... Good pasture land is hard to come by, and Daddy and I. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no rush, you know, whenever. You know, Larry really loved you. We didn't spend a lot of time together, but you were the best friend he ever had. He told me. I really miss him. You have no idea how valuable you are to this community, Beth. Well, it's work I enjoy. Well, I hope you have no plans of leaving us in the near future. 
your phone tonight? Yeah, fine. Yeah? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait a minute. Are you upset about Cheryl? You explained it. Are you sure you're over her, Kevin? There is absolutely nothing between us. Okay? Okay? Okay. okay. never thought that I was the jealous type. Yeah, well, it's it's good that you got some of that in you. Yeah, I I just hate to see my wife let me go off with just anyone. Your what? You know what happened with Larry taught me that life's too short. You know, if you want something, you gotta grab it while it's there. Well, I want you. So what do you think? Will you marry me? Kevin, I love you so much. I know you're in here. I saw your car. Following me? <laughs> Following you? In case it slipped your mind, my cattle are still here. A little paranoid, are we? If you're looking for Kevin, he got an early start at the garage, I think. Well, maybe that's good, because I think we need to talk. For some reason, you seem determined to ruin my life. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean... <laughs> you wrap yourself in all this saintly innocence, and all the while you are... Plotting and planning and scheming against me. Are you jealous? Is that it? Is it because I'm prettier than you? I don't have anything against you, unless you count how you weaseled your way into Kevin's life. If he left you for me, it's because he wanted to. No. We were having problems, and you knew exactly which buttons to press. 
You don't know me. I know your type. Look who's talking. You steal my boyfriend. You set me up in a cheap motel. What did I ever do to a you? Motel. I know, okay? I know what you did. I am getting out of here. Not you. That's just a fact. We've been dating long before you even knew he existed. Maybe so. But then, when, when he realized how much better I was for him, you couldn't handle that, could you? You had to get him back. How'd you do it? Did you sleep with him? He told me that, um, <laughs> that you two had never done the deed the whole time you were together. We slept together every night. Couldn't get enough of me. Kevin's not like that. Our relationship isn't based on sex. It's something deeper than that and something you'll never understand. Go! All the two of you ever want me to do is understand. Well, I don't understand. I will never understand. What about what I want? What do you want? I want Kevin! I worked for him. So, so I should have him. That's how it works. Nobody ever treats me like this and gets away with it. You get back here! You get back here! Oh. I had a really good time tonight. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. so did I. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about something. Mm. It's about Cheryl. Oh, no, 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 no. Some other time, all right? Not... Don't want to talk about anyone but us tonight. This is our night. It's nobody else's. Right. And anyway, I, uh... Got something for you. This here... was my grandmother's engagement ring. And, uh... And now it's yours. If you want it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh. Huh. <laughs> Guess that this makes it official, huh? Okay, that's number 17 on the first floor. You can park out front. If you have any questions, just ask. I'll call the police. They're not two minutes away. No, no, wait. I just want to apologize to you. Apologize? Doesn't really seem your style. Oh, you're mad. I really can't blame you for that. I was, I was way out of line yesterday. I'm sorry. Let's just say I accept your apology and leave it at that, okay? I don't know what got into me. Can I buy a cup of coffee? One cup of coffee, six feet from the reception desk? I'm okay here, Beth. Go ahead if you want to. If you're worried that I've told Kevin about what happened yesterday, don't. We had a really nice evening last night, and I didn't want to spoil it. But I swear, Cheryl, if you ever... Oh, no, I, I won't. I... It's just been a really hard time for me, you know? Cream and sugar? Black. No. I have to drink wine with cream. It's in the Dairy Princess rule book. It's a joke. I guess I'm late in learning that life and love aren't always fair. Is that an engagement ring? Yes. Oh, congratulations. Don't say that. It's bad luck. Oh, is it? I didn't know. Anyway, um, I'm going away this afternoon. Back to college. Well, what about your life here? What life? My, my friends? My family? My father never really cared for me, and now that you've got Kevin, my life's a joke. I'm a joke. That's not true. Don't say such things. Well, 
I hope you and Kevin are, are as happy as you possibly can be together. Well, thanks. I just didn't want to leave with any bad feelings between us. I'm glad you stopped by. Really? Really. So are you going to be coming back to town from time to time? Holidays, maybe. 200 miles is a long drive. Mostly I'll be hitting the books. Agriculture, animal husbandry. You really do want that farm someday. I really do. I'll move my cattle next time I'm here. No, Promise. that's fine. That's fine. It's no rush. Okay. Well, you and Beth take care of yourselves, okay? Yeah. Sorry it didn't work out between us, but... That's life, right? Yeah. Well, you let me know next time you're in town. You'll know. can't be good for a person. <laughs> Will you remind me again why it's a good idea that we wait till we get married? Huh? Because I said we were. Right, right. But was that your idea or was that my idea? It was your idea. Oh, uh, I don't really think it was my idea. I kind of think that, you know, it was your idea. It was two years ago. Who remembers? But if it wasn't your idea, and I know it wasn't my idea, then... We wasted a lot of time. So you wanna? It's got to be special. Okay. Okay. One then. Um, well, uh, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. And I'll get us a nice bottle of wine and light some candles. Huh? Can I ask you something without you getting mad? covering for me. Oh, you've done it for me more times than I can count. Besides, it's all for love, right? Mm, definitely love. Well, you sure you're going to be okay here tonight alone? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm gone. Bye. Actually, Kevin's expecting me. Why aren't you at school? Oh, come on. I came all this way. Five minutes tops? Girl talk? Is my car okay? Yeah. So how's college? It's only been a week. It's too soon to tell. You know I'm here. No, I really don't. You stole Kevin from me with your lies. Why couldn't you let him be happy? What kind of a, a sick thing was that to do? Get out of my car. No. Then I'll get out. <sighs> Listen to me, Cheryl. I think you need help. So now it's my problem? No. No. You're my problem. And you know why? I went off the pill when I was with Kevin, and now I'm pregnant. You little liar. How does that make you feel? What do you think he'll do when I tell him? Who do you think he'll choose you then? You do or say anything to get him. 
But you know what? The bottom line is, your tricks don't work anymore. Face it, Cheryl. You've lost him. He doesn't love you. He never did, and he never will. supposed to get together tonight and she didn't show up and I said to myself that maybe what happened is that she didn't feel the same way that she had changed her mind about things about me anybody verify that son that you were here tonight I was alone you could talk to her parents because I called them up I think we both know that's not proof you were home when you called or that you weren't out before that. We'll check the phone records just to be sure, though. Kevin. <laughs> 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 Sorry to hear about that. Nothing like that ever happens in Cloverdale. You know, I really appreciate the phone call, but uh, I'm not really in the mood for talking to anyone right now. I understand. It's just, I just want you to know I'm thinking of you. Thanks. Do they know who, who did it or, or why? Well. Her ring's been taken and cash is gone and some people said they saw a drifter hanging around town the last few days, but no one really knows anything for sure. Well, you just know that I'm here if you need to talk or you need a shoulder to cry on. I'm just a phone call away. I can only imagine how stunned I was by the news. I can only imagine. You know how close we were, Beth and me. I mean, we had our differences, but friends are forever, don't you think? Frankly, Cheryl, I don't know what to think. Oh? Did you hear something that night or, or see something? No. Why? I'm helping the police try to get to the bottom of this. You know, it's all, it's all such a mystery. Who could have done such a thing? I wonder. Maybe these phone records will help. Phone records? Oh, clumsy me. I dropped your scissors. Well, I gotta run. You know, I'll miss her like crazy. And I guess we all will. No one can say why these things happen. Why someone as good 
and kind as Beth McInnes has taken from us in the prime of life. We can only take comfort in the joy she gave us while she was here among us. And in Beth's case, that joy was boundless. Everyone knew her, everyone loved her. And we're all the better for having known her. I told you I'd always be here for you. I miss her too. Work this land with my father till his health gave out. When he moved, all he could leave me was a stack of bills. But I paid him off. Planned a life here with Beth. Everything was just working out like it was supposed to. And then this. So I got the cattle and I got the land, but I don't know what good it is without her. Why are you crying? Do I miss her too? And I'm just so scared that if such a terrible thing could happen to someone like Beth, I mean, it could just as easily happen mm. to me. You're talking crazy now. I'm scared, Kevin, please. Please, Kevin. Hold me. Cheryl. It's just you and me now. I mean, we're all that's left. We're just gonna have to carry on together. Man, what are you thinking? Are you, are you thinking that just because Beth is gone? Now, you know something? I told you before. There's no us, we don't fit. We do. We do, and, and there's nothing stopping us now. What kind of a sick thought is that? You stay away from me. No. You just get away. Stay away. That's that perfect thing of temptation. No, I said, no, Cheryl, me. Cheryl, get away, and you stay away, okay? Kevin. Kevin, you can't just leave me here. Corner says it was possible she was strangled with a belt. Is that scratch marks to you? Let's compare the leather with the scrapings we found under her fingernails. This tip might pay off after. Put some initials here. It's KR. Captain Reese. I haven't seen that belt for more than a week. This is what you want me to believe. You know something, you believe what you want to believe. But that doesn't change the fact that I didn't do it. Gotta be honest with you. This doesn't look real good, son. You be staying around town? Well, yeah. I'm not going anywhere. See that you don't. She loved Kevin. Kevin loved her. Well, we just have to follow every lead. I mean, the act of strangulation, the strength required. Ninety-nine times out of a hundred points to a male assailant. What about that drifter? No sign of him. If he ever was here at all, I mean, Descriptions are vague at best. Uh, no reliable witnesses. Well, one thing I know for sure. It wasn't Kevin Reese. Didn't work out with Kevin and me. He was still in love with Beth and everybody knew it. You have to accept things like that. When he went back with her, proposed to her, how'd you feel? 
I understood. Just the kind of girl I am. Where were you the night of the murder? 200 miles away. We already checked with the school. Your car never left the parking garage. Well, then, you know. I'm just hoping you can help me get to the bottom of things. Find out what happened that night. And, well, since you were so close to Kevin at one time... Oh, if, if you're thinking Kevin might have done it. He could never do anything like that, no matter how unhappy he was with that. Was he? Unhappy with Beth. I mean, if they were as perfect as you said. They were. It... Some people in town had the feeling that maybe she didn't appreciate him enough. Maybe he deserved better. You know how people talk. What was your feeling about this? That it was none of my business. If he was happy, I was happy. Anything else? No. Yeah, I was looking over the high school annuals. You were on sports teams in school, weren't you? Yeah. Quite the athlete. Gymnastics and wrestling. I won my share of trophies. Hmm. Why? You just surprised me, is all. You must be stronger than you look. Didn't have much of a chance to talk this trip. Nothing left to talk about, I guess. I couldn't let you go back to school without telling it. Without saying... Without saying what? That I love you, Cheryl Ann. I really do, and I am proud of you. That's all they ever wanted to hear. I was hoping that you were still in town. As if that makes any difference to you. It does. You know, I was really hoping that we could uh, get together and talk. Why? I was thinking about it, and like you said, we're all we've got now. Unless you didn't mean that. Oh, no. Oh, oh Kevin, I meant what I said. I did. Um, I'm here for you no matter what. And we can see each other? Maybe we can get together someplace quiet where we can talk? How about my place? Eight o'clock? Boy, you're just, uh... You're just too good to be true. I'll see you tonight. I'm glad you're beginning to realize that. Temper? You didn't see it often. But when you did, you stood back. Should have seen him take on a couple of truckers in here one night. Wouldn't want to get on his bad side, I guess. Not me. Not you, if you're smart. I want you back, Beth. I never stopped loving you. Kevin, I love you so much. Why don't you come here and dance with me, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Some woman will give up her dreams just to fit this neat little picture you have of the future. 
You want you in a dress. Baby, give me a chance, huh? Kevin, I love you so much. And I can be anything you want me to be. And who I am just happens to be exactly what you want. Something tells me you're full of surprises. Did you sleep in the shower? No. I'll always be there for you. Larry! Love me back. Larry! Larry? Larry? All this. I made dinner. Pot roast. Told me once it was your favorite. Oh. You don't forget a thing, do you? Not when it comes to you. I hope you haven't eaten. Well, you know, you shouldn't have gone through all this trouble. Oh, there's no trouble. I love cooking. And I'm glad you're finally putting all this bath business behind you. It's, it's important to move on. Otherwise, we never get anywhere in life. You seem so far away. Something wrong? Uh, police found the belt. My belt. Someone used it to strangle Beth. It wasn't you. Everybody knows you didn't do it. Just like everybody knows I didn't do it. Point is, looks like someone's trying to frame me. Oh. Yeah. That's awful. But, you know, I mean... I know how you feel. The police have been asking me all sorts of questions, and I hate it. Maybe... <sighs> Never mind. No. What is it? Go ahead. Well... I was thinking... What if we were each other's alibi? But they know that I was waiting for Beth. What if we were both waiting for Beth? Mm. We were gonna tell her that... that... we were in love and we intended to be together. Wouldn't that make sense? It was just an earring, but if he's right, then... Your friend is playing on your sympathy. We're heading out to pick him up now for the murder. You've got to listen to me about this. If that earring means what he thinks it does, then Cheryl Davis is the dangerous one, and he's at her place right now. I appreciate your help on that score. But I think we know what we're doing. You'll excuse us. You're arresting the wrong person. Of course they could still force me to tell them information that you shared with me in confidence. Unless... <sighs> this is really a, a wild idea, but... A wife can't testify against her husband. What would you do for me? Would you go for me? Oh, Kevin. Oh, there's nothing I wouldn't do for you. Yeah. Don't you know that? I love you. I loved you from the first day we met. Would you kill for me? Huh? Is that a joke? Did you do it? Huh? You steal my belt? Did you kill Beth? How can you even ask that? That's insane. I found this in the field where Larry died. A lot of people wear those. No one I know. No one but you. Oh. So now I killed Larry too? So now I'm this... I'm this serial killer running around Cloverdale with, with, with a gun in one hand and, and a bottle of poison in the other? What's this? It's mine. You think that I don't recognize my own grandmother's ring? I gave this to Beth. Now, how'd you get it unless you were there when she died? It should have been mine anyway. Oh, my God, it's true. You would have given it to me someday. 
I worked for it. What kind of a monster are you? Some things work out for the best, but some things you have to have a hand in. I only meant to scare. I didn't mean for it to go that far. Can you believe she told me that she was pregnant with your child? How can somebody lie about something like that? I can never love you. You don't even know what real love is. My God, you should have killed me. Stay tuned, because up next on True Movies 1, King of the World. Alternatively on True Movies 2, Bloodlines, Murder in the Family, Part 1. And on True Entertainment, Little House on the Prairie.